Can Ripple dethrone Bitcoin? How can one asset overthrow another and take the top spot? Bitcoin is not invincible. Despite being the most valuable cryptocurrency, it can still be overthrown by newer cryptocurrencies if they get enough acceptance. Despite their diverse backgrounds, both Bitcoin and XRP are supported by worldwide communities of cryptocurrency fans. But unlike XRP, Bitcoin isn't supported by any organization like Ripple and its team of lawyers. People who genuinely believe in Bitcoin and the certainty of a significant return on investment are at the forefront of the battle to keep it relevant. In order to meet the demands of the financial services sector, Ripple was created as a network for money transfers, hence XRP. But how does it stack up against Bitcoin? Before we start answering that question, if you love this industry and want to hone your crypto skills, follow the link in the description for our intensive crypto course. With that being said, let's dive right in. What is Ripple? The cryptocurrency token Ripple XRP, was created with the goal of transferring transactions from closed systems controlled by financial institutions to a more open system while drastically reducing costs. XRP transactions are trustworthy, quick, and inexpensive, making them ideal for cross-border transactions. The cryptocurrency was launched in 2012 and has one of the most bold objectives in the cryptocurrency world. The XRP Ledger, the software that enables the usage of XRP, presented a new method of managing blockchains that supporters argue is more suited for transactions. Anyone can contribute processing power, verify transactions, and safeguard the software on the Bitcoin blockchain. In contrast, the XRP ledger only permits a small number of network participants to contribute to transaction validation and network security. These participants, which together make up the unique node list number above 150, are part of the network. Is XRP decentralized though? 100 billion XRP tokens were pre-mined at launch and then given out as gifts and prizes to selected people, organizations, and the general public. Since a small number of corporations held a sizable portion of the currency supply at the time, the move raised questions about its decentralization. The fact that Ripple, a for-profit corporation, still serves as the dominant player in the XRP ecosystem further fuels the fire, since it's responsible for XRP's market performance. Ripple contributes to the maintenance and growth of the XRP ledger. The goal of RippleNet, the blockchain infrastructure built by the company, is to give banks access to speedy, affordable, and straightforward cross-border transactions. It is therefore a practical substitute for the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, the prevalent international payment system now utilized by most institutions. Some articles and stories use the terms Ripple and XRP interchangeably. Are they the same though? It is critical to note that they are not the same thing. XRP is a cryptocurrency and Ripple is a for-profit organization that supports and develops XRP, the software that powers it, and various other projects with a transactional focus. On its website, Ripple claims that XRP is faster, less expensive, and more scalable than any other digital asset. It powers through breakthrough innovations throughout the payments arena using the XRP ledger. One year after the XRP ledger's development began, Ripple was established in September 2012 as OpenCoin. Before settling on Ripple in 2015, OpenCoin changed its name in 2013 to Ripple Labs. Prior to changing its name to the XRP ledger, the Ripple Open Payment System was known as the Ripple Consensus Ledger. The creators of the XRP ledger chose to provide 80 billion tokens to a private business that would cooperate with the community to promote the coin when the XRP ledger was operational. This business, Ripple, apparently sold XRP strategically and used it to help encourage market maker activity to improve XRP liquidity and strengthen the overall health of XRP markets. Should you buy XRP? Like any other digital currency, XRP is usable for both transactions and future investments. The Ripple network can also be used to carry out other kinds of transactions, such as currency exchanges. So instead of managing the currency conversion directly through a bank or a currency exchange, you might, for instance, first exchange your US dollars for XRP on the Ripple network before using them to buy euros. Compared to paying the hefty fees that banks and currency exchanges may impose, this method can be a lot faster and less expensive. XRP has the potential to be a risky investment, but if you think that Ripple will succeed as a payment system, then it could be worthwhile to purchase XRP. Make sure you are only using funds that you can't afford to lose. From the outside, it appears like Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency worth investing in since it leads in market capitalization and overall investor traction as the most well-known cryptocurrency. But there are a number of alternative choices available for people looking to diversify their holdings and try out coins that have a different perspective on the idea of digital currency. 
XRP from Ripple ranks seventh in terms of overall market value in the second half of July 2022, with a trading value of 33 cents. What sets XRP apart from Bitcoin though? Ripple versus Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a digital currency used to make payments for goods and services that run on a public blockchain record. The blockchain is a public database of confirmed transactions and record keeping, and it forms the foundation of the Bitcoin network. Transactions are continuously added to the Bitcoin blockchain after being verified by miners. Miners are compensated with Bitcoin for successfully verifying transactions in return for their time and the computational power required to validate the ledger in this manner. XRP, on the other hand, is Ripple Labs' native cryptocurrency. Similar to SWIFT, a service for international money and security transfers utilized by a network of banks and financial institutions, its products are used for payment settlement, asset exchange, and remittance systems. XRP is pre-mined and uses a less complicated method of mining as compared to Bitcoin. The company was founded as a peer-to-peer -peer trust network that leveraged social media. Users within a network could bypass banks and make loans and open credit lines with each other. But the network failed to take off like Bitcoin did. Here are all the significant distinctions between the two cryptos. One difference between them is the techniques they use to validate transactions. Instead of the blockchain mining idea, the Ripple network validates transactions using a unique distributed consensus process in which participating nodes perform a poll to verify the legitimacy of a transaction. This allows for near instant confirmations without the need for a central authority. As a result, XRP continues to be decentralized and is quicker and more dependable than many of its rivals. In comparison to Bitcoin, which is regarded as an energy hog, the XRP consensus method uses a tiny fraction of the energy Bitcoin uses. Secondly, XRP is quicker and less expensive than Bitcoin. Bitcoin transaction confirmations can take several minutes and are linked with high transaction charges due to the difficult and intense nature of the cryptocurrency's mining process. XRP transactions, on the other hand, often happen at extremely cheap prices and are confirmed in a matter of seconds. Here is a case study from the real world to help you grasp the key distinctions between the two. Consider Karen as an American resident who shops at Walmart and pays with US dollars. She can also buy British pound sterling or Japanese yen with the US dollars for trading and investing purposes, and then later sell them for a profit or loss. An alternative to actual US dollars, for instance, is Bitcoin, a comparable digital currency. As with trading any other fiat currency, such as British pound or the Japanese yen, Karen can make a purchase and pay for it with Bitcoins. Or she can buy Bitcoins for trading and investment and sell them off at a later time for profit or loss. Instructing her American bank to carry out the transaction will allow Karen in America to send $100 to Becky in Italy. Using the current SWIFT system, Karen's American bank will send instructions after making the appropriate charges to credit Becky's Italian bank account with the corresponding euros or dollars. This procedure takes a certain amount of time to complete and may include high fees on both sides. Enter Ripple, a system for payments and settlements that also includes an internal currency called XRP. To transfer assets on the Ripple network, the payment system of Ripple employs XRP tokens. So Karen could quickly convert the same $100 into comparable XRP tokens and then instantaneously send these tokens to Becky's account using the Ripple network. Karen will get the XRP tokens when the decentralized Ripple network has properly verified and authenticated the transaction. She will have the opportunity to either keep it as XRP tokens or convert it back to USD or any other currency of her choosing. Compared to typical money transfer platforms and the Bitcoin network, the verification procedure is pretty quick. Conclusion The example we just gave you illustrates how Ripple functions, despite the fact that it does it in a somewhat more complex manner. In comparison to the Bitcoin network, the Ripple system performs better because of its quicker transaction processing and cheaper transaction fees. On the other hand, Bitcoin has an edge over XRP in other aspects because it's more popular and well-known. Bitcoin continues to be a truly public system that isn't controlled by any one person, group, or country. Despite being decentralized, a private business by the same name owns and runs the Ripple network. Although the two well-known virtual systems each have their own distinct cryptocurrency coins, they are designed for different purposes. So it's a matter of personal preference, but if your interest is in XRP trading, it's forecasted to surpass its all-time high of $3.84 by the end of this year, according to CoinQuora. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. Please leave a comment below to tell us what you think about Ripple. If you like Bitcoin comparisons with others that stand a chance, consider checking out our video on Monero.